Good morning. This is Pastor Zach with the Goodland United Methodist Church with your morning devotion for Tuesday, August 14th. Today I'll be reading from Genesis 11, starting in verse 1. Now the whole earth had one language and the same words. And as they migrated from the east, they came upon a plain in the land of Shinar and set, settled there. And they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had a brick for stone and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the heavens, and let us make a name for ourselves, otherwise we shall be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower which mortals had built. And the Lord said, Look, they are one people, and they have all one language, and this is only the beginning of what they will do. Nothing that they propose to do will now be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language there, so that they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of the earth, and they left off building the city. Therefore it was called Babel, because the Lord confused the language of all the earth. And from there the Lord scattered them abroad the face of all the earth. A reflection written by Oswald Chambers from the book My Utmost for His Highest called Getting Into God's Stride. He writes, The true test of a person's spiritual life and character is not what he does in the extraordinary moments of life, but what he does during the ordinary times when there is nothing tremendous or exciting happening. A person's worth is revealed in his attitude toward the ordinary things of life when he is not under the spotlight. It is painful work to get in step with God and to keep pace with Him. It means getting your second wind spiritually. In learning to walk with God, there is always a difficulty of getting into His stride. But once we have done so, the only characteristic that exhibits itself is the very life of God Himself. The individual person is merged into the personal oneness with God, and God's stride and His power alone are exhibited. It is difficult to get into stride with God, because as soon as we start walking with Him, we find that His pace has surpassed us before we have even taken three steps. He has different ways of doing things, and we have to be trained and disciplined in His ways. It was said of Jesus, He will not fail nor be discouraged in Isaiah 42, because He never worked from His own individual standpoint, but always worked from the standpoint of His Father. And we must learn to do the same. Spiritual truth is learned through the atmosphere that surrounds us, not through intellectual reasoning. It is God's Spirit that changes the atmosphere of our way of looking at things, and then things begin to be possible which before were impossible. Getting into God's stride means nothing less than oneness with Him. It takes a long time to get there, but keep at it. Don't give up because the pain is intense right now. Get on with it, and before long, you will find that you have a new vision and a new purpose. Have a blessed day.